everybody, it's Chris from Beer Bearings, and we're doing something a little bit different this week for Beer of the Week. I'm out here at the newly minted Foberg Brewery, formerly Dixie. Um, I'm kind of by myself out here, and I've got an outstanding camera operator helping me out this time around. I thought I'd come out here and check out the new beers. I haven't actually had a chance to get out here yet and do that. Uh, I got a flight because they've reformulated a lot of their, their flagship beers and, and or introduced some new ones. So I'm going to kind of go around here. We'll do a photo of, they'll be a little depleted after I do some tastings, but you'll get the general idea. Um, this is the lager in front of me here. So it's newly reformulated lager. My understanding is it's getting close to the 1907 recipe. Uh, this is Golden Cypress Wheat Ale. This is uh, uh, pralines ale, which is an English old ale with pralines, and I can tell you, I had a little sip, very praline heavy. If you love your pralines, this is the way to go. Uh, this is Datsuma, so this is the Datsuma um, ale IPA that they've got, and finally the West Wego West Coast style IPA. And I think I'm actually, for you guys, going to taste these two, the lager and the uh, West Coast style, the West Wego, because that's my favorite, secretly my favorite style. I know I'm weird. So, let me, let me quickly do that for you. So this is the lager. And again, Foberg, if you don't know, they renamed themselves Foberg from Dixie because of the connections of Dixie with the Old South and the Confederacy. Um, and also, honestly, just to kind of keep up with the times in terms of trying to be respectful of everybody's heritage. And uh, I think, personally, I think it was a great move. Um, I hope you agree as well. And if not, maybe you can still enjoy the beer. They are a 1907 brewery. They've been around for a long time and they decided as part of that relaunch to reformulate the lager. So let me give it a shot. Aroma's a little tough out here. It's windy, but uh, definitely getting a little bit of that kind of cereal aroma off of it. That's pretty nice. It's, um, it's a little smooth. It's, it's a little less sweet, I think than traditional Dixie, maybe a little bit hoppier. Probably a little closer to what they were making back in 1907, according to, according to the legend and the lore. And they've done a great job of keeping all of the, uh, as much of the history as they can alive here. And it's been continuous since 1907 too. So, you know, there was the opportunity to hang on to it. So, I can definitely see having a lot of those uh, as you're enjoying your crawfish or you know, burgers or whatever you're enjoying in your backyard. So now I'm going to move on to the West Wego. It's a West Coast style IPA. We've talked about these before on the on the channel. Uh, piney, resiny, uh, a little bit uh, dank. It's a style that I cut my teeth on, and I really love it. So let me give this a try. So off the bat, citrusy hops. I get a little bit of pine, a little bit of resin on the aroma. Got a nice bitter finish. Again, that kind of dank pininess hits me right in the face, which I love. So that's a quick hit out here at Dixie. Get out here and enjoy yourself. There's live music on the weekends. We're gonna be back out here on Sunday for some live music, as a matter of fact. And it's reservations only for right now, or at least they prefer reservations, especially when they're busy. But get out and take a look and enjoy it. Come out and support the newly renamed Faubourg has been around since 1907 and you can't argue with that. Uh, if you are watching me on Facebook, have your friends come and join the conversation here on Beer Bearings. And if you're watching me on YouTube, I would love it if you would like and subscribe and let me know what you thought in either case in the comments below. Until next week, I'm Chris and I'll see you right back here for Beer of the Week.